I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will analyze a quartic function and sketch the graph of the function using knowledge of concavity and point of inflection. Question is, use the first and second derivative to analyze quartic function. Sketch graph of the function f of x equals to 2x to the power of 4 minus 4x squared plus 2. So the function given to us is f of x equals to 2x to the power of 4 minus 4x square plus 2. Let us find its derivative. So the derivative of the function is 8x minus, um, this is 8x cubed, minus 8x, right? So that is the derivative. You can always factor 8 and find zeros. So we have 8x as a common factor and you get x square minus 1, correct? So the first derivative is 0 for x equals to 0 and plus and minus 1, right? So we have three critical numbers for us. So these are the three critical numbers, right? So these are critical numbers. Now, let us also find the second derivative. Second derivative for the function is, we'll do the second de derivative from here, 8 times 3 is 24, x squared minus 8. Well, you could write this as 8 is common, so we get 3x squared minus 1. So that is the second derivative. We can analyze local maximum minimum using first and second derivative. We need not uh, actually do rate of change concept to find local maximum minimum once we know the second derivative, right? I'll show you how. But using this equation, let us find the uh, the point of inflection. That is to say, if second derivative is 0, then we could get point of inflection. So that results in x equals to, that means 3x squared minus 1 equals to 0, or x is equals to 1 over square root of 3 plus and minus. So we get these two points where the second derivative is 0, right? Now, let us analyze the second derivative. So, so we have second derivative. Let us say this is the second derivative analysis. It is 0 at two points, which we are saying is 1 over square root 3 with negative and 1 over square root 3 positive, correct? So in between, we can take some test points. So 0 here will take uh, greater than 1 and minus 1. So these are my three test points. So in this center portion, 0, if I write 0 for x, I get negative 8. So it's a negative number. Negative means that it is concave down, right? So negative means concave down, right? Now if I write negative 1 here, negative 1 square will be positive, so we get positive answer. So even for plus 1, we get positive answer. So we have concave up in these two sides. So we clearly see that the concavity changes from concave up to down and therefore at this point we have a point of inflection and we do have a point of inflection at minus 1 over square root 3 also correct so so what we can write from here is that point of inflection is at x equals to uh, plus and minus 1 over square root 3 that is one thing we got now we have three different critical points. One is at zero, the other ones are at plus and minus one. Now if you see at x equals to zero, at x equals to zero, derivative is positive, right? So at x equals to zero, derivative is positive. Let me write down here uh, positive, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, so derivative at zero was negative, right? So it was negative going downwards. Here it was positive. These two let me write here, positive, positive, and negative, correct? Now, if the second derivative is negative, then we have maximum. If second derivative is positive, we have minimum. Do you see that? Kind of going downwards, correct? So, at plus and minus 1, we have minimums, and at 0, we have maximum. Do you see that? So, we have a maximum at x equals to 0, and we have minimum at x equals to local minimum, so I should say, at minus 1 and plus 1, right? So, so these are the direct values of local maximum minimums 
from first and second derivative test. Correct? Now, with this information, we can sketch the graph of the function, right? So we can sketch the graph of the function. So what we need to do is uh, find the value of the function at, uh, uh, at all these points, right? So we can use calculator to find the value of these functions. So, so what we have here is uh, we write, uh, we can start with uh, f of, let me use a different ink, okay. So, so we could write f of 0 is equals to 2, right? f of minus 1 is equals to, if I write minus 1, they get positive values. 2 minus 4 is minus 2, plus 2 is 0, right? So, and f of plus 1 is also 2 minus 2, I mean, 2 minus 4 plus 2, which is also 0. And then we're left with 1 over square root 3. So f of uh, 1 over square root 3, uh, both positive and negative, we can calculate, right? When you square them, you get positive values. So let's use, uh, so square of 1 over square root 3. So here we get 2 times. So for the first one, it is 2 times 1 over 9, right? So 2 times, I could write that as 2 divided by 9, right? So when you do to the power of 4, you get 1 over 9 minus 4 divided by 3, right? Square of square root 3 will be 3 plus 2. And that gives you 8 over 9. So approximately 0 0.88, right? So 0 0.8 recurring is, is a value at plus minus square root 3, right? So using these values, we can sketch the function. So at f of 0, it is 2. So at 0, it is 2. Let us say that is the value 2 for us. At plus and minus 1, we have zeros. So we let's say these are our plus and minus 1s. So these are the zeros, correct? Now, and somewhere in between, at 1 over square root 3, so 1 over square root 3 is how much? So 1 divided by square root 3 is equals to, in decimals, 0.57. So that is 2, so this is 1. 0.57 is kind of less, so let's say very close to hit this place. Is 0.8 is close to 1, right? It's kind of here, right? So, so the graph of the function, as you can see, is concave up on this side of, let us say, let us say, let us say this is, 1 over square root 3 negative and here we have 1 over square root 3 positive right so that is the point of inflection so we can sketch the graph kind of like this that the graph is kind of concave up in this portion right concave up and then it is concave down do you see that kind of like this and then it is concave up kind of like this right so that is how the graph is going to be right so these points for us are the point of inflection, which are at, let me write down these points as 1 over square root 3, uh, 0 0.8, or 8 over 9, okay? Or I could write 1 over square root 3 minus an 8 over 9, correct? Okay? So these are the point of inflections, and these zeros are at minus 1 and plus 1, correct? Okay? So that is how you can actually sketch the function f of x. So I hope that is absolutely clear. So to find local maximum minimum, we found the critical points from the derivative. There were three, 0, plus 1, and minus 1. At these critical points, check the value of second derivative. If second derivative is positive, then we have a minimum. If second derivative is negative, we have maximum, local maximum, correct? So the local maximum is at 0, and the local minimums were at plus and minus 1, whose value was calculated to be 0, right? So that is how you could actually uh, sketch and uh, use the information of concavity, point of inflection, to get the graph. I hope that helps. Thank you.